Hello YouTube, Bean Olsen, Yucatan Junkie, Beanie from the Bedroom here with this. I'll do uh, my top three. I mentioned in the video, I'll do my top three Agile guitars. And everyone complains that <clears throat> when I do a comparison that I don't play them. So I'll start off with this with a little bit, just the, um, the clean boost, going to a little bit of the dry.
that last run that I did. Um, <laughs> made my shoulder sore. Come here, baby. Plug it in, plug it in. Jack, just one, two, three. Can you hear me? Am I coming in loud and clear? That's my radio announcer's voice. All right, so, so sorry, just hit the mic. Um, so my three agile guitars that I go to, my three go to, that are, sorry, click, click, click with the mic. Never be satisfied with the mic where I put it, the sound. I hate it as much as you do. So I read your complaints and I, 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 I feel your pain. Um, so I only went with the agile, um, true Les Paul style single cut guitars, um, that are, have the heel, the set neck. And not only is it the only three that I have, but it's in the order that I grab them. I eliminated the 3200 series. For the mere fact of the matter is they are neck through. And because they're neck through, they have that sleek curve like on any neck through body. Um, you know, like the BC Riches and the, um, uh, I don't know, others. <laughs> so, or, you know, if, if that was the case, I would probably grab the turquoise quilted maple. But again, it's it's neck through and it's got that sleek, you know, curve to get down here. This is as true to form to a Gibson Les Paul copy guitar with the Gumby headstock. Gumby meaning if you look at you know who Gumby is, which everyone should. Everyone that's my age, that's like his head. So yes, I I tend to grab these three all the time out of basically the 10 guitars that I keep um, on the wall out available for me to grab at any time without having to go through cases over there and cases in here and what do I have, where is this, what's in there kind of thing. So yes, this is my number one. This is my Agile, and I have to look every time. 3010 and someone said to me that it's it's uh, not an al it's maybe an se it's like a 3010 special because the white lines aren't in triplet going all the way around the headstock and the body and i'll show you on the i think the other two have that so yeah this is the 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 blue blueberry burst and again, the only thing I did was I just changed the knobs. And does this? No. Okay, good. This does not have coil splitting to go from a humbucker to a single, which I like because I think that whenever they put splitting um, devices, you know, the knobs, the tone knobs or the volume knobs to split the pickups, I think it just, to me, it just takes, uh, you know, a, a little bit, away from the power of the pickup and that's just me that's just my ear telling me that um, proper real deal Grover Tunis graphite nut 22 frets on an ebony fingerboard and this one is abalone inlays and you, if you could see they don't have the trapezoid starting at the nut like the other one that I'm going to show you the third one that I'm going to show you so this is, yeah, this is my blueberry burst, tiger maple, veneer top. And like I said, that's the set neck kind of deal. My second go-to is my, no, I forget the color, but this is uh, like a tobacco brown tiger maple veneer with the same thing. It's got no coil splitting, no coil tapping, so I can't split the humbucker to a single coil. I can't tap it to, to you know, change the phasing. And this is also the um, real deal 
Grover tuners, which are on all the Agile guitars. And that's amazing that they can do that. I don't remember what the nut was on here because I bought this used from Guitar Center. And this is the 3000 series. This has the ebony fingerboard with the abalone inlays, 22 frets, the Agile Al Alinko pickups on all of them. And the only thing I did was I just changed the knobs. I took the white ones off and I put these cream ones on to match better with the, uh, you know, the pick guard, the um, pickup rings, and the poker chip. Oh, yeah, and the other thing I always do is I, I loosen this up and I turn it on this angle for the sweep. That's the only thing I, I've done to every Les Paul guitar that I have, every single cut LP guitar. I don't like it going up and down. I, I kind of, as I'm playing, I'll go like that, and you see me play it this whole time. And that's how I like it on that angle. I'm afraid the way I do that, I'm going to break the knob, make break the, um, the three-way toggle switch. So and that's just me. But yeah, this thing here, you know, for whatever reason, because I've always liked the brown natural wood color on most guitars. This is the one that, uh, you know, again, I grabbed out of the three. This would be the... Blueberry will be the first. This will be the second. Because I'm used to this color, and that one is unique. That's why I like looking at it. The third one is my AL3100 MCC. And you can see it's the regular set neck. doesn't have that, you know, neck through curved contour. And same thing, Gumby head, Gumby headstock, real deal, Grover tuners, graphite nut, 22 frets, ebony fingerboard, mother pearl inlays, and you can see the trapezoid starts at the, I was looking for the pick, at the first fret, before the first fret, after the nut. The other two don't. This one is the only one I bought brand new. Um, and this was 459, right from Rondo's music. And this has the quilted blue quilted maple top. Look at how gorgeous that is. And again, I just changed the knobs because I think they match better than the black ones that were on here uh, with the guitar. And um, again, the this the blue one and the blueberry one has the graphite saddle savers on the bridge there. The brown one does not, the 3000 series. So these are a little bit newer. And um, yeah, as far as, you know, weight, they're pretty decent on weight. It's like having a, a real Gibson on, you know, on in your hands. But yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> these are the ones that I grab all the time. You know these three and uh they all sound amazing and this one i think had yes this one has coil taps where you could split the pickup from a humbucker to a single coil split it tap it six to one half a dozen of the other <laughs> same thing so i and i never use them but um Yeah, I don't. I can't think of anything else. Like I said, I I, I made a video, which I, if I remember correctly, I'll post that one first. The first time I I came in to play to record myself after taking a week off. I'm going to um, Texas because my daughter graduated um, boot camp, basic military training, in the Air Force. And uh, shot, um, she got a uh, marksman um, medal for shooting 24 out of 24 out of her class. So, um, yeah, the uh, she always went to the range with me down here. So she, she went from, she parlayed her skills in archery because she was on the Joe Ed Junior Olympic archery team um, to shooting because my buddy at the gun shop, 
uh, Jack from Take Aim Guns down here in Palm Harbor. Um, she'd go in there with me all the time, play with the owner's dog. And Jack's a, the manager, great guy. And he was like, um, like you know, you know, she's not doing the archery anymore because it was like an hour and a half away to go to the, the Joe Ed team. And, um, you know, you might want to get her an AR-15 because she could hone those skills and, and volley them into the rifle. And she did. She was a natural at it. So, um, you know, she got to shine during um, basic military training. And I got a picture of her shooting a rifle. I think it's cool. So, yeah, I did a video with that saying I couldn't get in. Today, I'm pretty much in the, the groove of playing, you know. And I figured let me just show my top three that I go to and the order that I go to. Um, on my agile guitars now this one i bought brand new the other two i bought used and one was i think three and change they were both three and change i don't remember exactly what they were but they were both like three and change 339 was one and uh maybe 349 for the other one i don't really remember but great even used it's a still a great guitar at a great deal and um you know, they, they compete with, with anything else that's out there. I still think that they're better than Epiphone because of the quality. Yep, they're not, they're not all pieced together. They don't have the headstock glued to the neck. They don't have the, the neck set into the body with a spacer back here. They don't have, you know, they do have three pieces of mahogany. One of them has two, um, I think. But they also, um, they don't have more than three. Some of them, some Epiphones I've had, I've seen four four pieces glued together so you know for that reason alone what's up with that and the fact that you're getting grover tuners you're getting decent pickups very good sounding pickups hand soldered electronics um even this one with the coil split i do i think i do remember pulling off the the plate and this was um this was shielded. The covers were shielded. The inside was shielded. And even though they were the, the um, pull push to split the pickups, they were hand soldered. They weren't the quick clip in that's on the Epiphone. So, and they don't have that Epiphone price. So you still, you know, pound for pound, you can't beat these guitars. <clears throat> and the guy that, whoever bought that, <clears throat> that 1900 Dragon Eye from Texas for 199 bucks. <laughs> if you're watching this video, let me know you're the guy that has it. Put a picture up if, somehow if you can on it. But um, yeah, so that's that. Thanks all for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good day and a better tomorrow.